Hello and welcome to my video. My name is Samuel Vidal and today I'm going to be creating this character. Um, her name is the blue hair Robotica and this is a character um, I did a long time ago and this 3D model here this was the Manuel Bastioni's um, 3D model back then and I used it to make this character <clears throat> and this character was based on a concept I did long time ago which was this little robot here that I call Robotica M2014 um, this robot here kind of remind me of the um, the game The Sims 3 the Into the Future um, expansion pack that, that kind of reminds me of that and then you know I thought like yeah I'm just gonna do something else you know more a little more complex than this so eventually I created this other version of it <clears throat> more like a, an Android or you know like cyborg and again this was this is another of um, Manuel Bastioni's um, model that I use which you know fortunately they I think they shut down that project so you know I eventually you know moved to something else which now I'm using the character creator 3 <clears throat> okay so today I'm going to start by creating her which her name is um, <clears throat> Kiyomi Blue and she's the blue hair robotica and her story was that uh, she had uh, um, someone was trying to kill her and they they planted a bomb on, in her car so when she went open the door the, the car exploded but she managed to survive the the explosion but she was kind of like this figure in some parts then this uh, mystery scientist doctor came and rebuilt her you know with um robot parts as you can see here so i already got the character creator 3 open and let's get started Okay, first thing I'm going to do is select the uh, base, okay, body morph, repack for CC3+, plus and strong female. <coughs> okay, I'm going to go to the modify panel, expand it a little bit. <clears throat> gonna go full body okay I'm gonna look for an option here um, body tone this option here I'm just gonna put there 60 okay then there's another option here body thin gonna set that one to 20 okay and <clears throat> going to save this project okay now that that's done I want to expand her shoulders so I will select this option here shoulder and this option shoulder with a go all the way to 50 okay to expand that okay she looks good okay now I want to change her face okay because if you look at the photo reference here she looks um, Asian type of woman 
So, you know, that's how, how I originally in, you know, intended to do this character, you know, that she look Asian. So, that's what I'm going to do here. <clears throat> going to go here to the content, hit Murph, and Essential Morphs, and this one here, Asian female. Okay, now I'm going to go to the modify panel here, on full head, I'm going to look for an option here, on face young here, I'm just going to set that to 10, so she can look a little bit younger. <clears throat> Now, when I change her eyes, I mean the color of her eyes, and I'm gonna set it to green, material only. Okay, <clears throat> now we're gonna put some hair. Okay, hair, legacy, swamp. And I'm going to select this one, Romantic Tail. Okay. That looks good. <clears throat> now I'm going to go to this option here, Stage Elements. Material, this one, and select the same here, folder there, um, I'm going to select this color here, okay, change the color, yes, <coughs> okay, not bad, not bad, Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna go for the makeup now. So I'm gonna put some makeup. <clears throat> and just gonna go here for the makeup. And instead of me being, you know, putting the makeup one by one here, see, like I did in previous video, I'm just gonna go on the full makeup, you know, for the entire uh, face. <clears throat> and I'm going to select this one here, Celebrity, okay, and I got a filter, <laughs> awesome, okay, so now I'm going to check Make sure the makeup looks good. Okay, looks good to me. So that will be it for the makeup part. Now let's just close this uh, makeup editor. Bring everything back again. say real quick okay now they're gonna add um, some clothing but before I do that I want to take this brow off so I'll select it and <clears throat> press delete. Uh oh. The filter again. And now he's gonna go here on full character and this folder here, polygonal miniatures. 
Um, and to select this dress or black outfit here. I bought this one recently and it looks awesome. See? Okay. And <clears throat> gonna shoes. And again, polygonal miniatures. A high resolution one. Okay. These boots here, they look awesome too. They look a little bit too dark, so I'm just gonna go here real quick and fix that by adjusting the color, the brightness. I'm gonna put it uh, to 11. Let's see. Okay. And one more thing I'm gonna do is change the background. Okay. Okay, that's the background. Let's see, she looks awesome. All right. Uh, she looks awesome. <clears throat> Let me go real quick and add a pose. Like, I don't know. Maybe this one stand F. Yeah, so be she's been she could be standing straight instead of, you know. <clears throat> standing like well this pose here I think it was the open A. There are other poses here, you know, which, um, let's say that I want to put something else real quick. Um, let's see. So I want to do the standing pose 01. Let's see. This shit looks awesome. <coughs> Um, just bring her back. This is a normal pose, I guess. <clears throat> and I guess this is it for this first part. <clears throat> now for the second part, what I'm gonna do is um, edit this on the character creator three, edit her, and do some changes and then export her into a FBX file for me to then import it into Blender and that's where you know I'm going to do the other changes to try to put the you know let me kind of go suit uh, you know off it okay that's going to be the second part um, that video okay so I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you did please hit the like button or subscribe and thank you for watching